Hi, welcome back to SAB Business Object Processing Framework Series Demo. So today we see how we can implement the other action to change our status value. So let's open the business object export decode and open our business object and open the root node under the node elements and action okay so we edit the business object so we have the um, class which is you now called us specifically for the set confirmed action so I just want to rename that class first to make sure that you no know, um, we're going to use a single class to model all our uh, actions in the business object so before I'm going to create the other actions for the to change the status value so i'll rename this class first i'll say copy and a separate session and se24 put it business object more function rename I'll say LC action set. Okay, is it CL and CL underscore action underscore SC LC set status. Action root status okay so sorry for that set root status I would say LC okay so now the class has been renamed so we are renaming it on the uh, no, uh, SC24 so activate all your objects and make sure that so once that has been renamed so you know that this is already active here so all the implementation everything is active so we can put the class back to our action save changing the class so now we go and model the remaining action right click so i'll say status um, reject order so it should be a multi-node instance class name save this and same way go and model the other action right click create action set status finished and so we have two action has been modeled and also right click create action set status word order word. how many actions we modeled it so we modeled it fourth action same so are we missing some are we missing some no are we missing some new is we confirmed rejected delivered okay fine so we are good with the four action so four action has been modeled save so now so this is a class is already active so we can do the business object check and uh, correct and do the correction
and generate our business object. So only these actions are modeled, but we didn't implement the logic inside our class to ensure that, you know, based upon our action, the corresponding um, status can be set. So let's go back to our class. So in SC24, so we already opened that. So let's implement the logic as generic based upon the action key we can get the right status so i'll say uh, get lc status um i'll just put the method name like this I'll double click you can just put it uh, you know you can type the method name and add everything that is also possible does not do you want to create it yes so in the dialog box so you are going to create the get the order status by action okay so i want this to be a private and instance base and okay and say create so i want to have a parameter to be passed so what as I can pass? I can pass the I, uh, IV action key importing as POBF slash um, on ACT key. I believe something is exists like that, or maybe it should be like this. And then I have a EV status. That is exporting parameter which will return my value which is i'm not sure about the type of it so let's go back and check the model and uh, i would say this is my type so i'll just put it like that mm, it's okay i have a importing value based upon this importing value i will have the exporting value to be done so that's the way i designed it so i'll just go create so now I just to make sure that with the signature you call everything. Okay, so I pass the action key from here and do so you say isctx. So in the uh, context is context you have the action key right. So you have action key which will set the value back to your uh, LC status, I will pass it here like this. And okay, so where I am passing the action key and then I am exporting the value back to um, status. That's the way I call this method. So now I will just copy this inside my method to go i'll just go here double click my method name yes save the changes and here i lost it cl ev status save i'll come back for my reference purpose i'll use copy this okay so now we put the case statement iv action action key okay so i say is it if or et order constance sc action okay and the root node i say set if it is set confirmed, I would set the value as EV status as C. Okay. And this is done. Same way. Hmm. So the next when catchment is delivered, double finished. You can use control D to you now copy the line 
and I say rejected and in this case I say clear TV status okay so now I have to each cases each action I have to set the value so I'll say here okay so I delivered I go with D finished I go with F and this one I go with R so pretty much for all the four action we set the right status now save do the check and correct so I'll have all the method has been activated so this one is active go back so we call the action by action we call that get the status and that will be updated so our uh, execute method is also active go back now you see there is a method which we added it's a private method so this is a way we you know so just this is you can you can also type the method here and create all the parameters and everything you can give and generate your method first before you go and put it like that so i i'll prepare it prepare that way you know easy for me to where i'm calling that or how i'm calling it so that's the way i done it so you can now these actions are available let's go back and have a simple test on the model so we already generated the model the actions and also we also activated the business object now we can go back and test it the implementation is done so we open VOBT test transaction and so our business object is there load by instance all so let's see so we have already one is in uh, C status okay so uh, let's see what I can do see okay sorry this is the association this is the action you can see all the actions are available let me put it into delivered see that it is getting changed and I would say finished yeah rejected yes so now this is entirely all our actions are executed successfully without any issue so that's a way you can you know simply implement these status um life cycle status of your business or business object node uh, attribute and you can have a single common class to you know write the logic for to set the right status for your order so thank you